common wrong errors or mistake and how to fix them. Using a hard grid of pencil. If you have no very dark shadows and the whole picture is rather pale, check your pencil. Are you using a number 2 HP pencil? These are too hard to draw with though they are handy for light shading. Get a B, 2B and 4B for darker values. Using flash in portrait photography. This is the major cause of beginner drawing problems. Using flash photography plotons the features giving you nothing to work with. When the person is facing you, it is very hard to see the modeling of the face. As the perspective vanishes behind the head, and add a cheesy snapshot, green and you make life very hard. Have the person turning slightly to one side so you can model their face with natural lighting to give good skin tones and a natural expression to show their real personality. Problems with head proportion. Because of the way we focus on a person's features, we usually draw them too big and scotch the rest of the head. Does your drawing look like the forehead is too small or the back of the head is flat? Facial features not aligned. Because we are used to looking at a person straight on, we naturally try to make their features look level when we draw them. If their head is on an angle, this results in strange distortions in the picture. Sketch guidelines first to ensure that the features are on the same angle as the rest of the face. Drawing pits from human eye level. When you take a photograph standing up, you are looking down at your pit. They have to look up and you end up with their head seeming much bigger than their body and a rather odd expression on their face. Have someone distract them so they are not staring down the lens and squat down so the camera is at their head level and you will get a much better reference photo. Outline in value drawing. When value drawing, you are creating an illusion with areas of tonal value. When you use a hard drawn line to define an edge, you disrupt this illusion. Let edges be defined by two different areas of tonal value meeting.
using the wrong paper. If you are drawing a spell, it might be the paper. Some cheap papers have a chain on the surface that is too smooth to grab the practicals of the pencil. A thick notepad has too much give under the pencil to allow you to apply enough pressure. Try a basic photocopy or office paper or check that art store for cheap sketch paper. Place a piece of card under a couple of sheets to give you a firmer surface. If you are trying to do even shading, some sketch papers can be too coarse giving an uneven texture. Try a hot pressed Bristol board or similar smooth drawing paper. Scribbled folios. Don't use circular scribbles to draw folios. Use more complex shaped scrambling like crescent shapes and scribbly calligraphic marks to draw the shadows in and around clusters of foliage and your trees will look much more realistic. Using pencil lines for hair and grass If you try to draw every hair or blade of grass as a single pencil line, you will end up with an unnatural looking mess of tangled oil. Instead, try to make feathery pencil strokes to draw the shadows and darker foliage behind areas of grass or hair.